Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming, where today we are going after the steel or the metal beams <coughs> at the uh, that we that need to be delivered to the substation. So, I kind of already have this mapped out. I'm I, I'm already re regretting my decisions of using this truck and the three spot flatbed and then pulling that, but there's nothing I can do except go ahead and try. And uh, I have a feeling the scout with the flatbed is probably the worst idea out of them all because I have a strange feeling. Uh, and this is just from last episode. This uh, yar likes to roll over quite a bit, so I think it's just going to end up being an absolute nightmare. We have no crane. We have. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still trying to trying to get over this cough. <coughs> but we have no crane to place everything back on the trailer. I have the strangest feeling that that is going to be the worst mistake that I've made. Um, but let's find out. Let's see if I can if I can do this. <coughs> Um, I'm also going to try to reduce the amount I'm, I'm speaking. Uh, I did forget to bring a thing of water down. I'm just going to try to keep my throat uh, lubricated. But, uh, eh, you know what? Let's go for it. Um, come on. We're just, we're hung up on this tree right here. There we go. Maybe there's some other things we're hung up on too. Oh. Starting to think maybe the uh, this truck wasn't the best option. Go ahead and try to get it out of this mud. There is just nothing to attach to. There we go. And even that, it's still struggling to get out of this pit. Oh, we could almost stand the tree back up. What am I stuck on? I think we're stuck on the tree. The tree underneath us. I should not be this stuck. There we go. I'm not too surprised there. Let's see if we can attach. Nope. We just gotta get a little bit closer. And by a little bit, I mean a little bit more. Now nah, we're through. Okay, and the, uh, the Zeke's is just going to try to drive forward, which is not going to be good because that pretty much just centered itself on that telephone pole. I love how I keep calling telephone poles. I know they're power lines, but whatever. Bad habit. All right. We just, we both, we have to look forward where you're driving. That would be a good start. Uh, but yeah, we definitely have to make good decisions. And hopefully uh, everything will go well. And I just, I, I don't see that happening. Alright, here's uh Oh, this 
This is it. This is the chance that we get. We've got to go... I wonder if it would have been simpler just to take this route. <clears throat> Too late. I'm going for it. I think we just go... Yeah, let's stick to the rock. I think that's pretty deep in there. Okay, well we already just took a massive... Yeah, that, that one's pretty deep in there. No surprise. Okay, apparently we're gonna go around this tree because I can't turn. <laughs> there we go. Come on, get grip. Nope, yep, it just. There we go. Let's see if we can't uh, hook back up. How am I down to 42 gallons of fuel? I forgot to, I was gonna fill up. Shoot. Okay, there's a scout fuel trailer there. We can pretty much use all the fuel out of it. I just realized I never really use those beacons. Um, this seems kind of silly. All right. Anyways, we're now full on gas. Let's. That's at least a good start. And it does look like that trail would have been slightly easier. So uh, who, who would have thunk it, right? See if we can weasel our way up in between these trees. Let's, let's think about this for a sec. That's going to be pretty tight to get through there. But we do have to keep going in that direction. So I guess let's just go for it. We're going to scrape. We're going to scratch the paint a little bit. But that's, 
should be okay. Low and steady. Are here. Hi. Let's detach rock. <clears throat> this is gonna be slightly complicated to get in here. There's our one load of metal beams. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go straight back into these blues. There's the million dollar question. <clears throat> Is it better to go this route? This looks like it could be shallow. And then we somehow probably come up this way. Or we come back the way we came. Not gonna lie, coming back the way we came wasn't that difficult. I think that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna go this way, because I don't think this way is easier. Famous last words, right? Um, let's uh, turn off the truck, obviously. But, uh, yeah, let's change. Oops. Not start truck, I wanted to change truck. Uh, change truck, there we go. I think we're also going to skip the morning before we take off. So we'll, we'll spend the night out here. We'll uh, enjoy the scenery. Have a nice small fire. Fix some food. You know, the typical stuff. Alright, so now that we're fully loaded. How do I want to try to turn around in this thing? Hmm. I suppose this is one way to do it. I want the front of the truck. Alright, that should that should work for now. So let's uh stop the engine, let's skip the morning. Apparently we got up early this morning because it is dark still. Uh 
Let's change trucks. Get them fired back up. Let's get off this birch tree. And let's head off down the hill again. All right, we're instantly stuck. That's that's a good. Song. I like. And it appears to be something to do with this tree. Oh no, it was uh it was our trailer. Go ahead and fix that. Alright, our. We should be okay. Now, what am I saying? We'll, we'll get stuck sooner or later. Alright, let's just head back down the mountain. really any shortcuts through here so we are slightly twisted. Should take care of that. Baby, you can do it. All right, this is probably going to be the harder part. I think now that this is all torn up. Oh, 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 let's, uh, let's, uh, change trucks and, uh, fix this. We did not have these issues coming through here <laughs> the other direction, but no, now that it's, uh, now that it's more important that we don't roll over, are you not? Okay. Winch isn't really helping at all. Are we stuck? I feel like we're stuck on something. What is, how did I, how did I change trucks? What is going on? Somehow I changed trucks. While I was uh, trying to winch onto something. That's a new one for me. All right. Uh, let's stop the engine, change trucks again. Can we get... Back of this truck. Yeah. That's more aligned, and we should be able to go straight through now.
I really, I really wish I brought some water down. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully my coughing is not uh, showing up very often. I know it's gonna be a bad one. I, I try to turn the mic off, so if you hear me doing that, then you'll know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> The good news is, is the, the sickness feeling has gone away, but I, I still have the, I guess the, the runny nose down the back of your throat, the sore throat, so, uh, which is obviously causing me to do all my coffee. It's just that, it's that time of the year. <clears throat> Nothing I can really do about it. Except stay inside and play video games. That would have been ideal. That would have been ideal. That's all right. Oh. This truck does not like high gear at all. Even when it feels like it's going to take off and you can actually use high gear, it, it just stalls it. Uh, so one thing I wanted to point out that I thought was very funny, uh, I found a Wikipedia page that kind of rates all these trucks, and this truck only had like a 57% or something like that, it was very low, uh, where like the dairy, I think it was the dairy, uh, maybe it was the Azov, was like 70 or 80, and I was like, is this truck that bad? I feel like it's a pretty good truck, except for the overhang. And if you can, you know, you deal with coming to random stops because of the overhang. I feel like it's not that bad of a truck. But it is pretty expensive. I mean in-game and, uh, and uh, in real life because it was an add-on. I think it was like five or six bucks. Which is kind of crazy when you think about... Um, how much the game was, or how much the expansions are, and you're just paying for one single vehicle. But uh, anyway, it's fine. I think I got it on sale for like 20% off, so you know, that helps out a little Um, let's see here. We don't want to go that way. I don't know why you would. It looks like maybe an upgrade back there? Oh, you know what? I see something right there. Should we go get it? It looks bigger than an upgrade though. Let's uh, stop this truck, change it to the yard. Let's detach the trailer. Let's go see. Let's go see what's over here. <laughs> it's best to do this type of stuff now. Because if you don't, you're uh, going to spend a lot of time getting back here just to get down there, so. And yes, we do have chain tires on here, so. It is an upgrade. Look at that. Is it the upgrade? The all-wheel drive for the twin steer. If it is, I may just quit what we're doing right now and go play with the twin steer. I've been looking forward to all-wheel drive twin, twin steer. Uh, for a very, very long time. Actually, ever since I found out that you could have it on the twin steer. Which was probably three or four years ago now. Um, uh, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm not going to lie. I think it's the upgrade for the twin steer. Let's find out. And if you were wondering, that's where it is. Uh, let me try to figure out where north is. Actually, I assume this is north. I, I'm making an assumption there. Uh, it is north because there's a compass right under Pola Peninsula. Um, so now you know where I am. So if you're looking for this, this is where it's at. All right, let's let's do it. <laughs> of course, I have a coughing fit. It is not the twin steer all-wheel drive. It's the metal detector module for. 
A lot of trucks. Okay, cool. You know? Oh, look, you got the P12. Uh, you got the Zeke's 5 Series. You got the Von D. You got the Pesar. Uh, these are all older trucks. These are trucks that were barely usable in Michigan. Um, the step's not too bad. Uh, the P12 is not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's weird that these older vehicles are uh, now just getting parts for it. So, all right. Well, it wasn't the all-wheel drive. I was hoping it was. I guess this just kind of proves to show you guys. I haven't. Uh, I haven't looked ahead. I don't. I haven't played this part of the game before. I completely new and it's uh, completely uh, virgin territory for me, so... But, uh, alright, let's go get suited back up. Get our trailer on. Get our rig hooked up back together. And uh, let's continue on. Uh, I, was, I was so hopeful for this to be this wind steer. So hopeful. That's alright, it's still out there. We'll find it. Sooner or later, we'll find it. Now that that's passed, let's go ahead and attach the winch to a tree. Preferably that one. There's a. There we go. Oh, that was that was almost perfect. Almost perfect. Uh, change trucks. We're already down to about a half a tank. This truck. Um, so it does feel like it's a it's a thirsty vehicle. But that's okay. We're uh, we're on our way past gas or a uh, trailer store we're gonna get. So yeah, you could you could just imagine how hard this would be in hard mode, uh, because I believe the fuel trailers when you buy them don't have fuel in them, and I also believe you can't sell them after you buy them. So it's it's a hard mode. I I would not be against trying a map on hard mode as a co-op. Um, but I feel like you would have to go up the hard map. Like, that's just like for me to have to go get fuel from around here. There, there is no. As far as I know, I haven't found a, a fuel station to fill up. So I'd have to take. I'd have to bring all my fuel with me. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if if things like this, where they're where they naturally spawn on the map, if they have fuel in them. I hope they do. I, w I think they would. Uh, but yeah, could you just imagine having to do all that hauling just for fuel? And then by the time you get there, you need to go get more fuel? That would be, uh, that, that's definitely a hard mode for sure. If we could get, even if we could get like a, a five player, six player co-op, that would be kind of crazy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, trailer. I always think the trailer store's in there. I don't know why. But I do. Do we already, like, I should have got... Ooh, how are we gonna do this now that I'm thinking about it? Yeah, I should have got out a fuel trailer. I guess we're just gonna have to do it with scout vehicle trailer. Alright, so we've got two. Stop this off here. Stop this one there. We'll drop off the trailer. It's always so nerve wracking because the trailers one sink like that. Two, they can tip over randomly.
59? No, I want to, I guess that's, that's our option there. Oops, broke something. I think what we can do. Let's go ahead and refuel. And yeah, I think I'm just going to drop this back. Ah, you know what? Let's just drop it here. Should be fine. It's not a very expensive trailer, so I'm not too worried about getting the money back. That was a that was a bad backup job. I'm just randomly guessing where this is. Okay, good enough. Alright, uh, change trucks, let's get that engine started, and let's catch the wind. Alright, let's, uh, let's get underway. Don't, I don't remember anything over here being overly difficult, except for the train here then you, you end up getting into mud. Playing with mud and rocks. What? What is going on here? Where is my winch? What the heck happened? There we go. Okay. That was weird. Somehow my uh, my screen wasn't selected. How are there no winch points? There's a telephone line right there. Let's change trucks again. This truck may actually go through easier. I lied. No winch. How are there no winch points? We are far away. That's why. Come on. Just out of range. There we go. Come on, pull us through. Seriously? Seriously? Believe it or not, I am hitting the pull winch button. There we go. Come on. Try to avoid that rock. Now we gotta get the uh, the Zeeks out of here. Ah, somebody needs to come through here and move all these stupid rocks out of the way. Oh, I forgot. Once again, we gotta go this way. It would be easier just to go this route. Let's find out. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Much, much easier to go all the way around. So, uh, if you guys are looking for a way around that, let's go all the way around. Alright, so we gotta go through here. We gotta go basically to this point here before we turn off. And from what I remember, unfortunately you guys didn't see that because that was the episode that uh, accidentally got deleted. I, I don't recall this being overly complicated. There may be some slow parts with some mud. But um, yeah, it's probably the first time in a while that we've been in six years. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be different. Okay, so that is definitely our garage. Uh, there is a fuel tanker there. That's pleasant. You don't need to go up that way. Yeah, you need to definitely switch to third gear. Ooh, took a little bit of damage there. That's kind of surprising. <clears throat> Little bit of a dig out there too. This, I don't, it's, it's icy mud, I, it's hard to explain, I guess there's large chunks of ice in this mud, but ironically, it doesn't slow you down too much. Oh, no, I thought I heard it, I thought I heard a clunk, how did it fall off? Hmm, this is what I was afraid of. And to be truthful, I'm surprised we got this far. How did that fall off? I... Did there... Let's just try to turn around the, the vehicle. Ideally, I wonder if we can do this. I don't understand how that fell off there. How did anything get s to such an angle to make that fall off? Right. We definitely need to get the trailer closer. I'm, I'm going to try this. Don't know if it's gonna work or not. Okay. Let's attach the winch. I wanted it to tip. I don't think it's going to tip. Let's detach the trailer. Yeah, 
yeah, this is this is if this works, this is gonna be absolutely just insane. Oh. Yeah, like I'm not. It's not letting me dig the back end of the, the truck in. Come on. Get up there. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Like, I want... Mm. Alright, let's try... Let's try this. Is there a vehicle? I don't think this one... No, that one doesn't have a crane. I have no other vehicle here with a crane. Um, let's actually go to this one. Did not do what I thought it was going to do. All right, Zeke, it's your turn. Time to shine. <clears throat> this is going to take a while to get back here, but I I don't know if this is going to, I guarantee you this probably isn't going to work, which is a little disappointing, but, uh, might as well try it. Oh my god, that almost worked. I go... Let me remove cargo. It won't let me. Okay, let's 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 change trucks again. Let's try to go forward. Actually, we go in reverse. No, 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 no. Okay. Try to get this trailer even closer. I feel like this is something I'd totally try in real life. not do it in the order I wanted it to do it. I was so, I, I'm so close. Can I get... Okay, let's, let's get the yar out of the way. Oh, oh. 
Come on, turn. Let's actually do it this way. There we go. Okay. Let's change back. No, that was an instant jackknife. Oh, that's pretty bad. Pretty horrible driving there by me, thank you. If this works, I'm going to, uh... Yeah. Alright, I don't know what I'm going to do. I will be pretty amazed if this works. I wonder if I should use the front end. The front end will be lower. Let's uh, go ahead and turn around. Hopefully this isn't some giant snow pit. like that. Nope. I need you to let go though. There you go. Come on. Okay guys, if that just worked, if that just worked, I'm going to, I don't even want to change the trucks yet because I'm like, is it going to work? I know you guys can't see me right now, but I am like literally have both my hands up in the air. I'm cheering. This is one of the moments where I wish I had a camera on me. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. I cannot believe that just happened. Will that ever happen again? No, never. Once in a lifetime. Um. So yeah. We need to get everything turned back around. I I know. Why am I not reversing? Thank you. Come on. There we go. I don't know what's going on right now. But I think we're going to be able to turn around. Come on. One of these trees has, has to pull me. Um, attach winch, thank you. Don't roll back on me. There. Okay, now we now we can actually get everything going in the right direction. Holy crap, guys. I cannot believe. I cannot believe I was able to do that. Now we are in the spot where this stupid thing fell off for some reason. I have no clue why. I, I must have hit a large boulder. And it must have just sent it over the edge. Oh, that is, that is absolutely insane. I'm probably going to keep my eye on the trailer more than I will on where I'm going. But yeah, that was, I, I, that was totally worth it. I, I've never done that before. I'm, I'm still dumbfounded. I, that is, that is just amazing. And it definitely took less time to do that than it would be to go get a vehicle crane on. 
Now, with that said, let's hope it doesn't have any in. Do I go? I think I go left. Right? Oh no, this is where I go right. I only put one marker out to go right. Okay, so this, this road here is pretty... It should be pretty tame. I think it's water, ice, and snow. Not a lot of rock, so... Hopefully we won't have to worry about anything tipping over randomly. I wonder if anyone's actually ever done that snow runner. I really truly do. That was a uh, that was an amazing moment. <laughs> I'm probably gonna talk about it for the rest of the episode at least. I just hope I never have to do it again. Now, when I first drove through here, I drove all the way to here, and then I had to back up and then drive down. I'm thinking I don't need to do that. I think if I go somewhere down here, I should be able to drive at least to this point, if not somewhere in here. So we are going to try this. We are going to go nice and slow. Um, yeah, and we're not going to worry about it too much. I think this is... It's a little rocky, but if we go this way, we should be okay. There we gotta be careful. Of. <laughs> yep, I just got really dicey. Somewhere in here, I would not expect there to be breakable ice. Did I say that right? I think I said that backwards. I expect this all to be breakable ice. I think everything to the right of me is. Um, it's not hit that well, especially going that side. Is this breakable? It doesn't look like it. Can we get up here? Um, do I want to risk trying to go up over here? This is definitely break the lines. I don't know. I don't know. You know what we need? We need sunlight. Let's go to the afternoon. I think it's better to go up this way. That just looks like trouble. Yeah, I'm already starting to break here, so... The last thing I need is that trailer to tip over. Especially on ice. We would not be able to save it if we were in that breakable ice. At least I don't think we would be able to. Uh, maybe we would have been able to. Right. We can definitely run over all these small trees. No problems here. Um, 
road's technically on the other side of the pylon. Okay, yep, here comes the funky camera views because of the uh, power lines. I'm gonna go this way, but... Hopefully squeeze trailer around. Okay, good. Um, yeah, that, we probably could have got up there. Definitely could have went under the bridge or next to it, but then up there. And here we are. We are at our drop off with fuel. I have a fuel tank right here, so I cannot believe we just did that. And to boot, we are within our allotted time frame, which I find funny because it's you know, plus or minus an hour by sometimes 30 minutes, but still. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and stop that engine. Let's change that truck. And I don't remember, does this unlock? The garage or do we have to do something else? I think there's one more thing that we have to do before we unlock the garage. But I could be wrong. Go ahead and drop off this load of beams. And let's hope we never have to deal with metal beams again on this map. That was uh that was quite some crazy work we had to do. So um Well the garage is still not open so there is definitely something else we have to do. And Yes, we need to do dirty business. Avoid these interactions. Oh, wow, really? Oh, no, this isn't what we need to do. Sorry. This is some type of... Uh, this is a, a, a contest. Uh, we need to do... What is it that we needed to do to unlock the garage? I thought I saw it somewhere. It's not that one. Not the metal detector. That would explain why we got the metal detector. You know what? I completely forgot what it is. I'll uh, I'll look into it. There is definitely something else we have to do, which I want to do next right away because I we need that garage opened. Um, yeah, we we definitely need it open. So I thought it was maybe it is this one. The um, shoot, where did it go now? Oh, it wasn't that one? I think it's a task. I think it's this one here. I think it's lost trailer. Which is why I brought the scout to begin with, because you you needed a scout anyways. Um, which I mean that's still a heck of a hike, but uh, you know what? We'll we'll get it done. We've got fuel over here. We've got. Uh, we do have a little bit of damage to the engine, but we do have uh, repair points that we can use, and I'll probably go ahead and pull. The Zeke's out along with the scouts, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll start next episode with that mission. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, even with the amazing—I don't even know how to say it—the amazing uh, cargo recovery that we did uh, without a grain. Getting getting something back on a trailer without a grain is, is in my mind, mind blowing because I've never done it before. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.